Hey ho everyone, Ginger Gargoyle here. I had to reshoot this. Um, I got a haul video. I know, I wasn't going to do more haul videos. I was going to do a what I'm doing video or what's happening over here video. But um, this kind of showed up and I really haven't had time to get online. So this is why I'm redoing this. I got a haul from Scrapbooking Made Simple in Santa Clarita, California. And normally on Saturdays, they do a free make and take. Okay, that means you just show up. They've got everything you're going to need. You just go ahead and do it. They're not going to do that this Saturday. Apparently, the whole store has been hit by a bug. They've got two people. One's in urgent care, um, and one is looking at being admitted into the hospital. Even Stacy is out sick with this stuff. She's been out for a week. She was supposed to go back this afternoon to see the doctor. And so they will not be opened on Saturday. So they will be closed Saturday. They're normally closed on Sundays or Monday. Okay, hopefully they'll open up again on Tuesday. But I wanted to share this with you. But just so you know, there will be no make and take this weekend. Now, she is still three months behind. Three months behind? No, three months behind. Um, this order is, I ordered this at the end of September. And it actually came at a great time, a great time for me. It, it really did. Okay, so let's get into the basics first. First, she sent me a nice piece of cardboard. Well, there's a reason for this, and I'll get into that here in a moment. But I like, I like the cardboard. I can use that. Okay, then... In September, she had a release of Simply Define. These are called Winter Wonders. Let's see if I can't get this to focus. And this one is called Robin Red. All right. I don't know why she calls... Oh, no. I take that back. This is the contour die. Okay. For Winter Wonders. All right. And you can see that you get snowflakes. And you get this dove with... I'm assuming they're laurels. I could be wrong. It could be holly. Um, I think you could use this also at Easter time. Um, but, yeah. So, lots of uses for this. Now, if you're don't, if you unfamiliar with contour dies, all right, let me explain this to you. It cuts out everything except this edge. All right? That means you can put it on the side of a card. This edge will not be cut. You can put it on an envelope to decorate the flap of an envelope. This side will not be cut. All right, you can use it on the edge of a card, or not the edge of a card, the edge of a pocket, and it will not it will not cut off the pocket if you do it the right way. If you do it correctly, if you do it this way, then you end up with these pretty stars at the top of your pocket. Or if you did it this way, you or this way actually, if you want to decide it in this way, then you could have the pretty bird and the laurels for your pocket. All right, then, what did I do with it? Here it is. This is the one I thought that was. This is Robin Red. Now, I only bought one of her dies for this collection because, well, it was just, it was really the only one that appealed to me. I was like, hmm, they're cute, but I'm not really into much of it. I mean, I got this. And then I got this, okay? Now, the reason I got this one is because that does not look like a robin to me. To me, this looks like a chickadee, all right? Uh, up here in Minnesota, we have a ton of chickadees, especially in the wintertime. The black cap, ch black cap chickadees come out like you wouldn't believe. So that's why I got this one. I have a son who, for the longest time, we thought for sure he was going to be a... Uh, uh, forester because he loved the forest animals, but especially birds. I forgot what you got. An, Aud Audubon an Audubonist? Okay. And then she had this release of her of her must-haves. Let me take it out of the packaging for you. All right. I do not know if she still has some of these available. I know that she has the last one for the year, which was the heart, still available. 
and I want to say she has these, but I don't. I know she has one other one. And just to clarify, the let's see if I can get these to pop up a little bit. Okay, these are nice big dies. These ones, if I remember correctly, are big enough for uh, the the plus machines, the Big Shot Plus. But I don't remember if you can fit those through the regular ones or not. But I wanted to clarify. You saw that I took off just that straight one. Oh, come on now. I had you up earlier. Here we go. All right. The straight ones are separate from the other ones. They are their own dies. Okay. So that means that, say you don't want to do the stitch line, you want to do the hashtag line. Okay, you can do the hashtag line, and then you can cut it out. Or, say, you want to do it so that you have the hashtag line out, and you want to cut out the inside part. Well, then you use the inside straight edge and the hashtag, and then you end up with a little picture frame in whatever you're doing. Okay, and you get... The, the dash line or the stitches, you get the dots, and you get what she calls a hash hash marks. To me, they look more like cross stitches. Okay, and then these are supposed to poke all the way through. I find mine don't poke all the way through, so I either have to take a pokey tool and poke them through, or just go with the indentations that they make, because they do make a real nice indentation. Okay, but these definitely cut through, and these definitely cut through. Okay, and if you hang on a second, let me put my, my little bumper up here. Back in my, there we go. All right, now I will show you this. These were the ones that were released up until that point. The ovals, I do not see the ovals on her website. The rectangles I did not see. The circles I did not see, and the squares I did not see. So I think it's just this one and the hearts that are left. And I have to tell you, I'm kind of disappointed with the hearts. Um, I was expecting the hearts to be nested like this, and they're really not. They're they're fatter than what I would consider a heart. I like a taller heart, taller, narrower, um, more more real heart shape or not real heart shape because if you ever seen a real heart it looks like a fist it's they're, they're they're not the little they don't look like butt cheeks let's put it that way they uh it's kind of like a brain when you think of a brain don't think of it looking like a piece of cauliflower but it very much does but um yeah so Scrapbooking made simple .com. Um, I'm not going to put any links down below. Just go over to her website and take a peek. Um, I don't have a lot in here. Oh, I remember what else I was going to show you. And that's, by the way, because of these. That's why I got this sheet of paper. Because they want to make sure that these don't get bent out while shipping. I got two more of my quarter inch tapes. Which turned out to be perfect timing. Because I have already gone through three or four of these. I think I've gone through four of these already working on my Christmas presents this year. So that was perfect timing for these. Okay guys, that's it for now. I will talk to you guys later and I will probably make a video that just kind of flips through the pages that I did and um, I'll talk about some of the stuff that I did for uh, the stuff I'm making for Christmas and um, yeah, that's about it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.